God's morning, one by one. Good morning to the Malastics, Plastics, and Apple out there. So, uh, Plastic Con is now awake. So, another wonderful day ahead of us. So, I hope and pray na lahat po kayo ay excited for this day. So, yun nga, napatawa ako kasi kahapon, or actually kaninang alas madaling araw na, eh, naghintay ako ng sobrang tagal para lang matapos yung pag-upload ng uh, part 2 of my video, of my vlog, yesterday. But to my surprise, eh, sablay siya. <laughs> Dahil masyadong mahaba daw yung video. So, kaya, ayan, ang gagawin ko ngayon is, i-edit ko siya para mapaikli. Para hindi masayang yung effort ko kahapon. So, <laughs> kaya parang natatawa ko na, parang love life lang <laughs> na naghihintay kumaga parang naghihintay ka sa wala after all your efforts after mo maghintay na mahalin ka eh walang nangyari napunta lang sa wala <laughs> pero yun yan gaya ng hugot ko kahapon sa imaginary lover segment ang importante ay alam mo sa sarili mo na nagmahal, nagmahal ka na hindi lang yung bilihin ang nagmamahal <laughs> so yun may hugot lang yung uh, nangyari gagabi. So, uh, at least ngayon, alam ko na. So, in my vlogs, it should be more than 10 minutes, but it should be less than 15 minutes kasi chinek ko yung greenhouse ko lahat ng mga vlogs ko for the past uh, 10 days. So, yun, congratulations. We are now on vlog, vlogging day 10. So, tinignan ko yung mga previous vlogs at nakita ko na yung pinaka-longest is around 14, 14 minutes and few seconds so kaya yeah, I realized uh, or, or applying logic or common sense so I should be uploading videos na more than 10 minutes but less than 15 minutes just to make sure na hindi masayang yung effort natin sa pag-upload so ayan uh, another realization pero yun nga para hindi rin masayang yung portion na uh, i-delete ko sa part 2 video of yesterday I'll be including that today today so kaya ayun para hindi rin masayang yung uh, naging effort so ayun that's it for now so stand by sa mga mapag-uusapan ulit natin for today so again god bless and good day to everyone ayun so tapagit ko rin kanina na uh, aaralin ko or somehow mag-aanamin ko kung paano paano mag-increase ng subscribers and uh, ma-monetize yung account uh, pero medyo madugo pala siya I mean madugo siya in a way na kailangan mo talaga siyang paglaanan ng panahon ganoon naman talaga pag nag-uumpisa kailangan mong uh, mag-effort para malaman yung mga dapat malaman so yun nga, naalala ko lang sa mga, kung mag some of the points na sinabi ng mga vloggers na ngayon ay earning na with their account. Bali, sabi ni Brand Damage, shout out to Brand Damage. Yun nga sabi niya na parang dapat uh, you have to have a vlog for about 10 minutes minimum. And uh, patungkol naman sa pagsasubscribe, sabi nung uh, isa sa kaibigan ko, personal friend ko na nag-vlog na, who, 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 are able to, who, who is able to reach 1,000 plus subscribers so sabi niya na dapat para maging valid or hindi spam yung uh, pag-subscribe sa'yo dapat uh, uh, manood muna ng video mo yung magsasubscribe manonood ng isang ng isang video mo and uh, dapat kang panoorin yung vlog mo um, uh, with a minimum of 3 minutes onwards saka siya mag-subscribe ayun, something like that tapos meron din nagsabi na isang kaibigan ng vlogger successful vlogger na rin na, na dapat ay uh, i-open mo yung comment section para i-validate din yun ng YouTube. Uh, every time na magko-comment doon sa video mo, it, it means na pinapanood talaga yung video mo. Tapos, ayun nga, yung isa rin vlogger na nagsabi na merong big support system, may support group na tinatawag na VLS. Uh, VLS means video like, subscribe. So, kumbaga makikipag-deal ka sa mga fellow small YouTuber, ganun pala yung proper term doon sa mga nag-uumpisa pa lang sa YouTube. Small YouTuber, makikipag-deal ka with them para panoorin yung video mo, yung vlog mo, 
then subscribe to your account. So, ganun din, syempre, since it's a deal, eh, ganun din yung gagawin mo for them. You, you have to watch their video, then subscribe afterwards. Tapos, yun daw yung first level, VLS, then the, that is to make your uh, your subscription reach 1,000 onwards. And after that, yung second level daw is yung W2W, so that is watch to watch. So I think yung purpose naman nun is, though hindi, hindi na inexplain sa akin pa since I'm still on level 1, pero based on on, on logic, uh, I feel na ang, ang essence ng uh, watch to watch is para na mag-earn, mag-earn ka with your account. Kasi nga, what, viewing hours yung bayaran sa, sa YouTube. So yun. So, uh, ano ba ba? Ang mga sinabi about that. Uh, ayun, dapat you have to make your own content na very unique about you or about your interest. So, yun, maganda daw yung mga, mga YouTube channel or vlogs na may, may laman talaga na yun yung babalik-balikan ng mga tao. So, I think that is one thing that I should look on. So, again, I already mentioned to you before na ang purpose ko of vlogging is to inspire pero yun nga dapat daw or naisip ko lang na dapat marami kang gimmick on how you could inspire inspire people so ayun so marami pa mga talagang pagdaraanan tungkol sa pag uh, pagmo-vlog so then let's see what will happen about that so ang focus ko lang ngayon is to reach God's willing 1000 valid legit subscribers so to those who will be watching or have watched my vlogs so hopefully po ay mapanood nyo in a minimum of 3 minutes at mag-comment kayo kung possible at saka po kayo mag-subscribe and uh, ayun, eh, speaking of vloggers, so shout out lang po sa mga napagtanungan ko who, who gave their, their inputs about vlogging so shout out to Chong Chong Bok Bok so uh, I'll be uh, putting his uh, his account, YouTube account in the description below and uh, Fski channel, so did si Tito Efren, so Fski channel, uh, 1,000 plus subscribers na rin siya. Very recent lang siya na nagka 1,000 subscribers. Then yung baguhan lang din like me, si Tita Charms Manay Inday, so si Tita Charms, so uh, uh, hello sa'yo, shout out to you. Uh, at si Sir Aladdin Al Noyasam, so yun po ang kanyang uh, YouTube account. At yung pamangkin ko, na nagulat ako na mas marami pa siyang subscribers than me. 90 plus na yung subscribers niya, samantala ako is 40 plus pa lang. So, si Justine XD, yan po yung aking pamangkin. Yung nabanggit ko last video ko last Saturday, siya yung technical computer guy, computer expert. So, yun po. So, all of this, shoutouts to all of you. Lahat po ng kanilang mga YouTube channels ay ilalagay ko po sa description box sa video na ito, sa vlog na ito. So yun, I think yun po muna tungkol sa vlogging. So good evening, one by one. Good evening to all the ballastics, plastics, and apples out there. So mabilis na naman po matapos ang buong araw. At uh, today is pretty uh, uneventful. Walang masyadong naganap sa araw na ito. Well, uh, aside from... Uh, the vlogging basics na aking inalam sa buong araw na ito. Pero other than that, eh, wala naman po masyadong uh, ganap. So, uh, but syempre, since, since my goal is to somehow give something from each and every vlog, vlog that I'm making, so for tonight, I'll be sharing to you the uh, sabihin na lang natin na financial education naman, financial education naman for tonight. So I'll be showing you what uh, what uh, I found in uh, Facebook. Alam ko sa Facebook ko lang bit din ito nakuha. Kumbaga, yung parang simple guide on how to divide your salary or your budget. So uh, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung sample of that. And let's see kung sa mga darating na araw eh maipakita ko sa inyo yung kung paano ko naman siya ginagawa by myself. So, at least para makatulong po sa inyo on how to properly budget or to manage the finances that we have. Since yun nga, ko kanina na vlogging is one of those ways na you will be able to earn something. So, i-relate na rin natin doon. 
So since gano na nga yung direction natin to, to earn something, so mas importante din na alam natin kung paano nga pa i-manage whatever earnings we have. So, yun. So, let's check it out. So, yun po, as mentioned, ito po yung nakita ko sa Facebook on how to budget a 12,000 pesos salary or maybe you can relate this to the budget na ibinibigay sa inyo ng kung sino man. So, dyan makikita kung saan ang distribution ng uh, inyong magiging ng inyong sahod or ng inyong ng budget na ibinigay sa inyo. So it should include emergency fund, fund, yan savings. So importante na dapat may regular savings ka on a, on a monthly basis. Tapos syempre yung mga regular monthly expenses, so house bills, transportation, food, at sa mga may anak dyan, kids budget, or sa mga single pa dyan at planong mag-asawa, mag you can put the uh, wedding fund then you have their college fund again para sa mga may anak then medical and dental yung retirement fund very important din po ito kasi gaya nga na sinasabi nila yung mga anak natin or yung mga pamangkin natin they are not our retirement fund and uh, maganda po yung uh, presentation nito yung IMG so that's another form of investment so I don't know if there will be a chance that I could share them with you kasi nag-join din po ako doon then you have their the recreation kasi syempre you also have to enjoy ang buhay mo para uh, ano kumbaga parang reward mo for yourself so that includes traveling for the travel so uh, again you can put a, a budget on that on a monthly basis and then personal expenses whatever that is uh, sa mga sabihin na natin mga toiletries at uh, load mobile load Yes. and vacation savings so, yeah. so, especially sa mga OFWs like me maganda, si maganda na may meron kayong vacation fund para pag every time na magbabakasyon kayo sa Pilipinas hindi ubos sa uh, ubos yaman kumbaga hindi ka one day millionaire dapat inilalaan mo yan monthly tapos yan so sabi dyan so invest daw yung mga savings mo so whatever businesses or rentals or stocks uh, actually marami pong form of investments at yan so sinasabi nyo dyan emergency fund is really for emergency only kaya wag na wag pong gagalawin dyan at ito po yung mag magandang part yung mag open ka na mag open ka ng kanya kanya account or yung tinatawag na envelope system so as in literal na envelope lagyan mo ng uh, ng uh, pangalan yung envelope emergency fund savings house bills what have you para makontrol mo siya at hindi kung saan-saan mo kunin yung mga pinagagastos mo at yan limitahan ang pagkain sa labas kung pwede namang iwasan so sabi nga uh, ang wise finance uh, wise financial move is you should not work within your means but you should work under your means so ayan so I hope this will help all of you there na makakapanood ng vlog na ito kung paano i-manage ng maayos yung ating salaries, ang ating budget in a month. So, yun po. So, yun. Nakita nyo na po yung uh, uh, sample on how you can manage your finances or budget your finances. So, let's see again in the coming vlogs kung uh, meron pa tayong mga pag-usapan sa bagay na yan. So, ayun, nakapag-freshen up na. So, handa na ulit para matulog in few minutes. So, kaya, that will be it for today. So, Epilastic Con will now be signing off. So, good evening and good night and God bless everyone.